got a little project to do today. Got a buddy that uh, was looking for a basic little stereo to play TV sound through to use wired headphones. So he was looking for an old system, and I said, hey, you know what? I got something for you here. I just need to put an auxiliary input on it, and you're good to go. So let's do it. Every so often, I get weird requests, like to take a system like this old Radio Shack Realistic Clarinet 124 system and modify it. Let's just see, first of all, whether this thing actually works. So that's the radio playing. Let's see if the tape decks work on this thing or not. I'm not worried about it if they don't. I'm just curious, do the tape decks work? No, that one doesn't work. And am I going to fix it? No, I'm not going to fix it. it. Even has a turntable on here. Does the turntable work? Yes or no? Well, we'll find out pretty quick. Let's just grab a record. We'll drop a record on here and we'll see if this thing does anything. Well, the auto stop works, looks like. Let's see if it'll... It'd help if I put it on the right speed as well. Ceramic cartridge works. Radio works. Tape deck, not so much. The uh, motors don't appear to be turning, or the caption shaft doesn't appear to be turning. Nothing is working, so I'm assuming belts and stuff are probably shot on this, but that's that's fine. That's that's fine. There's nothing 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 at all wrong with that because you see what this is was is for. This is a special. A special project. It's uh, a buddy of mine's mother. She's hard of hearing and uses headphones to listen to the TV. And they don't want to get her wireless headphones because she'll misplace them. They want a corded headset. So what my buddy's asked me to do is, he says, can you put, this does not have an auxiliary input on it. On the bottom of this, there's just the speaker outputs, but it does have a quarter inch phone plug. So what he wants done is he wants a an auxiliary input put in. I guess it doesn't matter whether I do it on the tape input or the phono input, but an auxiliary input added so that they can play the TV sound and she can control the volume with the volume control on the front here for the headphones and plug headphones in. So that's this project. We're gonna rip this thing apart. I'm gonna just take a, an RCA cord just attach it to the inside and take it out the back so that they can plug it into the TV system and uh, then his mom can listen to her TV programs at whatever volume she wants through her headphones without uh, drowning his dad out of the room. So that's this project. Let's get started. Gee, I don't know whether this thing lifts off the top or whether the bottom comes off. I guess the bottom comes off on this thing somehow. Like we're talking a very simple basic design. All I need to do is just tap into the uh, tap into either the phono inputs or the uh, tape inputs because this is a ceramic cartridge. It will be it will be uh, a line level. I could just pair all the inputs for that matter, or just take it from the tape. The tape though is going to go through a preamp, so maybe we won't deal with the tape. We'll deal with the phono inputs. So the phono pickup wires from the ceramic cartridge come over to this little circuit board here where they're connected to this plug. There's no active components on this. This is just the rectifier board for the power supply. It's got the filter capacitor and the four diodes on it and supplies power. The transformer is here. AC power from the transformer comes into the AC input. Bridge rectifier, it's like 12 volt DC coming out of this thing. It's got to be no more than 12 volts because it's a 16 volt capacitor here for the filter and then power going off to the 
system positive and negative going down there probably one returning for the power for the motor yeah well power for the motor is picked off here there's the switch for the motor DC motor for the turntable uh, power going down to the unit and um, here's the audio line so basically I just need to tap into here I can just attach a patch cord onto here and then when this unit is in the phono input we should have a line input so I'm just going to go find like about a six foot cord and we'll cut the end off one side of it attach it down here to the left and right inputs and then that will complete this very simple modification of adding a line input to one of these crappy stereos and you can do the same thing to any of these crappy like crossly and piece of junk stuff like that that only has a um, it only has a phono input like a ceramic cartridge because a ceramic cartridge is a line level and uh, there's not really much in any way of RIAA equalization for a ceramic cartridge so sound quality wise it's gonna sound just fine especially for TV sound here I have a short patch cord I'll just prep the ends just to annoy people I'm gonna use my snips because I know it, I know that this just gets people going when they see me using the scissors to open up wires it just gets my OCD fans frothing at the mouth to the point where they have to tell me that they're giving me a thumbs down because I'm using electrician's snips to prep wires so okay so we prepped the wires I'm just gonna tin the ends and we'll just basically bridge it to the connector here by the way I take pride that this solder tip is two years old you've been using the same tip now for two years I actually bought a new tip for it and I've never had to use it and now I've lost it I had it sitting in the uh, I had it sitting with the soldering iron here and it's fallen out it's been so long it's on the bench somewhere probably dropped it on the floor but I bought a new tip figured okay I'll have to change this tip one of these days because this one's kind of getting a bit rough I haven't changed it yet because it still works so the three pins I'm looking for are the last three here left ground and right so they are white and the black one is ground and then the red one is the right so left ground and right I'm gonna just tack whoops off the camera there just tin the end of the of the connector I can probably just do it right on the board here too just follow them through but what the heck just as easy to do it right there slipped Okay, that should do it. We'll just uh, run the wires out the back. I'm going to use this to pinch the wires into the, the cabinet here to hold it in place. Maybe we'll just uh, put them down through here, get a bit of a strain relief. And then we'll just take them through the back, 
put the base on it. There we go. Let's zap tie around there. Put the two screws into the bottom of the unit. Plug back in the speakers. Here's my MP3 player. Units on phono and power. There you go. Plug headphones in the front, it'll shut off the speakers, and now we've got a wired auxiliary input into this old radio that has absolutely no value and belongs in a landfill, but this is going to give this a second life, and it's going to give a buddy of mine, his mother, a nice little unit to use that she can watch TV on, listen to the radio as well, and hey, for that matter, if I stop it from playing... It should still work playing records. Not that it's going to get used for that, but that will work anyway. Its primary use is going to be for playing the TV. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one again real quick. Bye for now.